Hi, everybody. Okay, let me get down to business here. There's talks in the works of a Deadpool X-Men crossover film. And this is the review for it. So, before I say too much, I want to talk to you about all the exciting things of the two genres and the fact that this will probably be taking part somewhere along the lines of after Future's Past uh, situation. So, one thing I want to say for certain is that we've already seen these guys team up once. So seeing them team up in a whole movie completely is not going to be um, completely outside the universe of reality for these two. Now, Marvel's already said that it has absolutely no intention of making a pure X-Men R-rated film. Um, they're open for a Wolverine, and Wolverine 3, I believe, is said to be a rated R film. Anyways, folks, so it is what it is, and this is what's coming out of um, several sources, but tonight I have it from MovieWeb. And what this basically says is that it makes sense that all X Men titles and Deadpool is already serving as somewhat of a crossover. As it features X Men members Colossus and Negasonic Teenage Warhead in prominent roles, a crossover would come after a massive timeline shift set up in the last X Men Days of Future Past. Simon Kinberg. Uh, as is to say about the impending crossover, so in other words, it's probably going to happen. The idea is that we've sort of reset the timeline after Days of Future Past, in some ways, and if not erased, certainly allowed for change from X-Men 1, 2, and 3, everything from Days of Future Past forward, uh, 1973, everything we set now became canon. So the Gambit movie, the, Dare, the Deadpool movie, will exist in a world that can acknowledge whatever happened in Days of Future Past. And moving forward doesn't mean they'll always interact with those characters, obviously. It's not unlike every movie has all characters, but they all have to exist within some rules or same rules. There will be interplay between different characters in different movies. Hint, hint, nod, nod, wink, wink. So, basically, and what they're saying is, the timeline's caused of some problems for the creators of the movies, only because it's hard to keep up with where all the mutants are at in all upcoming films. As compared to previous films, in a previous one, Simon Kinberg keeps a chart to plot out the timeline of existing standalone installments of Fox's Marvel Shared Universe, he explains. I don't have it all on a wall, but I have it on my computer. And I have it sort of tattooed to my brain now, too. Nothing external, so that if I get knocked over the head, no one can read it. It's literally behind my eyelids but yeah we have a clear sense of direction we want to take them in and in my mind at least how we could start to cross over or cross pollinate sort with uh, um, <clears throat> sort of with those characters that have their standalone movies so this is actually pretty awesome and I have yet to believe that this will not happen. Um, I don't know if this is going to exist um, in any film that already has started. But from what I can see here, folks, and unfortunately I'm using um, well, whatever took over Internet Explorer, Microsoft Edge, so I can't show you everything, but it just basically shows the words. So everything I've basically told you is gold. So 
this is going to happen at some point. They don't know if there's going to be a super film, if Deadpool is going to be worked into it, or if there's going to be cameos in different movies like him and Gambit or something along those lines. But this picture I pulled off the internet suggests that these guys are together in one film versus another. Maybe this is from Deadpool 2. Maybe this is something altogether I do not know yet. But I guarantee you a crossover X-Men Deadpool film is in the works. So, never fear. It's going to happen. Somebody asked if there was going to be a Teen Titans Deadpool crossover. I think that that would be too extreme, especially for Teen Titans. Especially if they want to go on their uh, go from their animated series. Deadpool would be too extreme for them, possibly, unless they limited him to a PG-13 status. But, you know, he would be twice as old as them, so there wouldn't be any room for sexual innuendos or anything else being the whole overage, underage uh, situation. Um, so, I would definitely look for this in the coming minds of the Marvel Studios hosts, and I definitely would probably put this around 2018, 2019, 2020, if and when this actually kicked off. Thank you.